What is the difference between a default reply and auto GPT? My name is Ryan Baggett. I'm the founder and CEO of Chatbot Builder AI. And today I'm gonna to break it down for you. Let's get right to it. All right, so first things first, head on over to chatbotbuilder.ai. And if you don't have an account, click on that beautiful sign up button. Let's name this auto GPT. Continue. When you first log in or create your account with Chatbot Builder AI, you're going to be brought to your home screen or your analytics page where you can see all of the important statistics and channels you're connected to. You can also access and create new accounts by clicking on the drop down button here. Create new account, and you can easily go ahead and do that if you'd like. In this case, what we want to do is we want to understand what is Auto GPT. Let's go to our settings page. The first most important thing prior to Chat GPT. This was one of the most important critical parts of our application, the default reply. The default reply typically was a fallback because in traditional chatbot building, the chatbot builder would always know the conversational path and direction and even words the chatbot would send to the user. In the case the chatbot did not understand what the user wanted or in the case the chatbot builder did not build a robust enough flow to handle all of the different scenarios, the, the default reply would kick in. And essentially it would say something like, oops, sorry, I don't know what you just said. Can you try to say it again with different words? And typically we would look for keywords or intents or utterances in order for us to give a smart reply back. Well, LLMs and ChatGPT changed this whole game. What we have done is shied away from using a default reply in the traditional sense. Instead, we let our chatbots run completely on auto GPT. This can be highly effective and it can be a lot faster than building out a hundred node flows. Say no to big flows. Let's click save since we've activated auto GPT. And the next thing we're gonna need to do is create a prompt. And we're gonna do that by clicking edit. Business information or your prompt are the instructions you give to your chatbot. So in this case, let's pretend um, AutoGPT is going to be our sales representative for our store. And say our store is going to be a paint supply shop. Okay, so um, what I'll do is I'll say, you are AutoGPT, very efficient, fast, friendly chatbot to assist with Ryan's paint shop period. Ryan's Paint Shop carries a variety of paints from all different brands from all around the world that cater to different budgets and can accommodate every project underneath the sun. It's always best to collect users' information if they're interested in a consultation, and you should collect their full name, email, and phone number if they appear that they are highly interested in moving forward with Ryan's Paint Shop's services. It is very important to also take note that Ryan's paint shop does not facilitate painting of automobiles. Instead, our paint is strictly for residential and commercial building use only. So instead of making a bajillion flows and working with a ton of intents or utterances or keywords, we just did everything here right inside of auto GPT. All right. So we can add other things like collecting data. We can have functions like collect to a, uh, connect to a human. Um, in fact, we'll make a quick function right now that is very important. And I'll click continue. Let's make this function. And what this is, is just gonna be something so simple. We'll click add. It will just say, collect contact info allows the user to provide their contact info. What data do we want to collect? We want to collect their full name. We'll collect their email. And we'll collect their phone number. All right, and so we're not gonna send a flow, but what we will do is we'll send an output message and we'll say 
Thank you so much for your interest. A sales manager will be in touch with you ASAP. Simple as that. We've made our collect contact info function. Now let's enable it by going into integrations. Clicking on open AI. Auto GPT is enabled. So we click edit and let's add in this function. Collect contact info and let's remove the connect user to human. Let's click continue and let's test it. We'll go to flows and let's go to our welcome message that we just already got built in. And let's click get link. Copy. And here we go. Here's our bot. Hello, how can I assist you? Hey there, who is this that I'm speaking to? You're speaking to the friendly shop off of Rise Paint Shop. Yeah, I just decided I needed a new vibe in my home. And I'd like to see if you guys have the right paint for my walls. You're glad, glad to hear. We have a variety of paints. I was thinking something luxurious. <sighs> yeah, I think I would like some um, professional help here. Do you guys offer consultations? It says we sure do. To schedule, let me get your full name, email address, and phone number. So I'm going to say... And this is what will break a traditional flow. If you if you deviate from the conversational path, that doesn't work, right? This is the thing. So this is what ChatGPT and LLMs and the the new way of AI chatbots have solved. Do you really need all three pieces of information? That question alone, right there, will ruin most conversational flows. So it's going to say yes. Okay. So I'll give them my name. My name is Ryan Baggett. My phone number is plus one eight four three five zero five one six five seven, and my email is Ryan at chatbotbuilder dot AI. Is there, is there any other information that you need? Boom. So it should say no. And we should be able to see that it's all good. A sales manager will be in touch soon. So we can verify this by going into our inbox here. And we should see, boom, the person's name, email, and phone number have been saved into custom fields. So that is fantastic. Okay. Um, now, how do we achieve the same result with more control? If you are an agency and you're building chatbots on behalf of clients, this is when I would suggest, or if you're building just something a little bit more custom, it needs to be more customized and you need to have more control, no problem. Click right over here to integrations and click on OpenAI. Let's grab this prompt. For command A, command C, and let's turn off auto GPT. I'm going to go to general, and now I will choose a default reply. And we have a simple default reply already made for you. Go ahead and click on that and click save. Let's go into our flows. And what we'll do is we'll go into our default reply folder. And we'll choose the default reply simple, the one we just set to our default reply. All we're going to need to do is click on our first node here. Click on the open AI element. It opens up this new window here. We already have a really good template for you to follow. That is based on the five P's. Profile, purpose, people, persistency, and perfection. But what we'll do, and it'll achieve the same effect as before, We'll just paste in the information from our prior prompt that we used in AutoGPT. This is going to achieve the same exact result. And here, I'm going to remove our default connect a human function. 
and just replace it with the click contact info function. You can also do additional things in the flow builder with OpenAI and our other LLMs, Gemini and Claude. You can choose to use our advanced generate text method. You can use to use an assistant with your files and documents. You can generate images, analyze images, convert speech to text, convert text to speech, and super important here, delete message history from OpenAI. This is especially important for you as an admin when you're testing things. If you don't delete the conversation history and it is turned on by default it is, then when you make adjustments to your prompt, you may not be getting a true answer, which means basically your users could get the correct answer, but you yourself as you're testing may get frustrated if you don't delete the conversation history because you're getting fed information that maybe you've already corrected. Keep that in mind. It's a pro tip. Most of the time, you don't need to do anything else but generate text and do keep in mind to generate images or analyze Im images. You're going to probably need to go ahead and switch to your own API key because we don't support that for free. Um, we do support text generation for free though, and you have a ton of usage available. So let's go ahead and hit publish. And now I'll go ahead and show you. We'll go back to our flows section again. Let's hit our welcome message folder again. Get link and paste. And it says, hello, how can I assist you? Hey, who are you and what do you do? Perfect. And so I can say, great. Are you able to help me with a, an appointment? And boom. That guy's is how you do it. We see it's working perfectly. I hope you like this video and I hope now you have a better understanding of what auto GPT is versus the default reply. If you're brand new to chatbots or if you've been in the game for 10 years, I personally think you should really give auto GPT a shot. It's going to help your prompt game tremendously. If you can prompt it, you can do it powder is in the prompt. I know that sounds cliche, but believe me, it is wild what some of you in CBB Nation have actually been able to achieve. And I can't wait to see more of what you guys build. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.